students in the last video we have started with the lesson safety and the first train am i right and we have discussed about the safety at road safety in the home safety on ground am i right so this points we have discussed in the last video in today's video we are going to discuss about safety from fire which we are going to discuss safety from fire so fire it is very dangerous am i right have you seen the fire yes so it is very dangerous and fire spread very fast and rapidly am i right and it can lose the life it can lose the life am i right so fire is very dangerous it spread very rapidly and it can lose the life and the property am i right whatever the homes if the you might have heard the fire the home is the fire home is on the fire or the fire that time there is a there is a lot of loss in the life also it loses the life and property what is there yes or no so to keep ourselves self we should we should know about the causes prevention what are the causes why does the fire why how does the fire cause then how we can prevent the fire what what are the precaution we can take during the fire so that we are going to discuss in the today's video okay so first we will discuss what are the causes means how does the fire fire can cause see if there is a electrician electrical fault means if there suppose a wire anything is loose then the because of that loose connection the fire it can affects the fire it can cause the fire okay then unsafe you know second cause will be uh, if you are using the match match box match sticks or the petrol match or candle if you are not handling properly then it can cause the fire during the mostly this uh, we uh, we can come during the diwali vacation fire crackers yes or no when the fire crackers are burn at that time we we get a news that because of this fire cracker the boy has um, means burn his skin yes or no so we have to handle them very carefully are you getting this then the third cause is the what will be can you guess what will be the third cause yes gas leakage am i right if suppose if there is a leakage in the gas and if we will burn something or if we will burn the gas is the gas can spread very rapidly am i right because the molecules of the gases are very loosely packed am i right so it spread very rapidly and if you are burning matches near that gas then it can cause the fire so these are the three main types of the causes of the fire first is electric fault electrician fault is electric fault is there then it can cause the fire then unsafe use of the um, match box candle if you are not handling properly then it can cause the fire then gas leakage these are the three main types or three main causes to uh, through which the fire can cause then how to prevent them how we can take the precaution now if see if there is an electrician means elect first we have discuss about electric fault if there is a electric fault then we should not allow any child or small children to go near to it first we have to switch off the main switch first you have to switch off the main switch and you have to call the electricians and you have to uh, do the repairing or whatever the repairing or whatever the wire is broken or particular place you have to repair that are you getting then second we have dis discuss about unsafe use of the candles matchstick then we should handle the candles matchstick very carefully are you getting then uh i want for the giving for the small kids see many a times the children are very happy they feel something fun to um candle the to can to can for to candle the master to candle yes or no then it it makes a fun for the students am i right but we have to avoid giving the 
are such things to the small children. Are you getting? Then we have discussed about the gas leakage. Suppose if, if there is a gas leakage, then immediately first you have to off the main uh, cylinder from the uh, cylinder block and you have to immediately open the windows. Doors should be open. So the gas, whatever the gas it will be there, it will flow, it will move away from that particular area. Are you getting? So they, they, you have to take care of this thing. Then see, while, uh, while working in the kitchen, either, mostly the ladies are working in the kitchen. So the first you have to avoid wearing the nylon cloth because nylon cloth catches the fire immediately. Are you getting? So avoid wearing the nylon cloth and also the loose clothes. If the clothes are very loose, it can catch the fire. Are you getting? So avoid using the nylon cloth and avoid using the loose cloth by cooking. Are you getting? So these are some safety measures or this is how we can take the care of this. Now see the during the fire crackle. During the Diwali vacation, Diwali, what happens? The children are so excited to burn the fire. Am I right? But you have to burn the fire, or whatever you want to burn the fire crackers, you have to take the adults, or you have to take uh, you have to uh, you have to take the precaution that the other persons are there with you. Then only you have to burn the fires. Are you getting this? Firecrackers. Are you getting this? So these are some precautions of the fire. The fire fighting. Now this is what suppose if how to protect the if the any home or anything is on the fire then how to protect or how to control the fire. Now you might have seen this fire extinguisher. Yes, this is one instrument to what is this? What, what, what is the instrument used? Can you just tell me fire extinguisher? It extinguish the fire. Are you getting? So see, now there are some methods. Now see, when the paper or wood is on the fire. See, yeah, what I am telling? When paper or wood is on the fire, then you can throw the water on it. You can throw the water on it so that the, fi the fire will not spread. Are you getting? So the fire will not spread. Then the second is when the fire is caused by a petrol. When the fire is caused by the petrol, then don't throw the water. What do you have to throw? Sand. You have to throw the sand. Why? Because water floats on the petrol. Now you in the during rainy season, you might have seen as the petrol, uh, the petrol is falling from the vehicle if the if you if the water drops will flow, fall on that the water will float on it are you getting so it will cause more fire so you have to not use if the fire is caused by the petrol then you have to throw the sand on it what you will throw you will throw sand on it do not throw the water do not throw the water are you getting or now this is one case now see when the person has catches the fire then what you have to do if the person if you will see any person has catches the fire then let that person fall you have to fall that person and let them let let him roll on that ground let, let him roll on the ground or cover that person with the blanket you have to cover that person with the Blanket. Are you getting this? Then the next is when fire is caused by the electric short circuit. Now most of the time now see during the rainy season. Yes or no? Mostly this things happens during the rainy season. There is a short circuit, am I right? Of, of, of electric, yes or no? Of the so at that time you have to do not throw the water on it. Because see, water is a good conductor of electricity electricity so it can conduct the electricity now there was one uh, there was incident 
you might have heard and there is one picture also see uh, that the water if uh, there was a electric wire was dropped in that water and a current was flowing the current was flowing on that water the person has the person was walking on the road immediately the person fall on that water and he was he, he was dead because the shock has been conducted the, the he has got a shock so it was a very harmful because current means electricity uh, water is a good conductor of electricity are you getting so you should never throw the water on it you have to uh, if if such a thing is happen then you have to use a fire extinguisher you have to use a fire extinguisher are you getting then in case of the large fire if there is a large fire if we, if we can't control this are small precaution precaution if we can't control then you have to call or you have to call for the fire brigade do you know what is the number it is a emergency number yes or no so what is its number its number is 112 that is 112 is the telephone number for the fire brigades so you have to call that person so they, they will help they will help to extinguish the fire so these are some safety measures of the fire so today we have discussed about safety from the fire as you know the fire and just recall in two minutes fire is very dangerous and it spread very rapidly so there there are what are the causes due to the electricity then uh, due to the uh, due to the what electricity then due to the uh, gas leakage then uns unsafe handling of the uh, candles matchbox it can causes the fire then how to prevent that we have discussed how to pre prevent that we have to use uh, you have to carefully handle the matchstick candles am i right then if the gas leakage is there then you have to open the windows am i right then fire fighting then see uh, if the fire is caused by the paper and wood then you have to throw the water if the fire is caused by the petrol then you have to throw sand very good you have to throw the sand and if the fire uh, is caused uh, due to the electricity then we have to uh, we have to extinguish the fire with a fire extinguisher and if the fire is at in a large amount or a, in a large then you have to call the fire brigade then can you just tell me what is the number of the fire brigades yes 112 it is the number of fire brigades now there are some mcqs that we will solve see the first is the fire is caused by the petrol can be extinguished by throwing what you have to throw yes by the sand you have to throw the sand yes so stick to the sand yes very good which number should be dialed to call the fire brigade can you just tell me what is the number 1 by 2 yes that is 112 so stick to that in the next video we will start with the first straight okay thank you